Hey, Craig. Hi, Lydia. It's amazing being here in Minecraft. I'm usually in Chub Chum Chill. Defending the overworld. Those piglins are a huge problem. I know, right? Those evil little piggies. It must be so cool to finally release this game you've been working on for so long. I know the team's worked so hard and it's finally out. And we're really thankful to the amazing community playing Chub Chum Chill. We've been so happy that so many people have loved playing the game since it came out in April, but we did get some really great feedback. And so we've been listening to the community of, you know, what they really want. Perfect. Uh, so we took a step back. We've made some amazing changes and we have some new things coming as well. I'm so excited about the new things. Oh, LA's. Oh, the LA's mean it's time for you to jump into the game. Well, let's go. What the hell is that? Hello, everyone, and welcome to another Scribble Showcase. It's been over a year since the last update to Chub Chum Chill. You've probably been wondering what's the holdup. What's been going on all this time? This update was originally supposed to be quite small. It was merely supposed to be a code refactoring update that made the game run better, be prone to less game-breaking bugs, and make future development easier. But one thing led to another, and now we essentially have a remake of the entire game. Again, hopefully for the last time. Before we get to all the good stuff, we need to rip off two bandages first. Bondage 1. There are a couple features in Point 5 that aren't in this version yet. The ability to edit your citizen after initial creation. Dr. Banana Head's weight loss clinic. And Brenda Burgle's back alley. These are elements that still need to be reworked and will make their returns in future updates that hopefully won't take very long to come out. Maybe, we'll get into that later. Bandage 2, clothing clipping, Clipping was supposed to be fully resolved in this version. I swear, the method I was using works totally fine in the Unity editor. I was so happy. But for some reason, it doesn't work in the game build. It just doesn't. I've done a bunch of troubleshooting. I can't, for the life of me, figure out why this specific feature refuses to work in the build version of the game. So I had to make a quick and dirty solution. I don't like it. There's still gonna be some clipping at larger sizes, but that's all I can do at the moment. I apologize for that. But enough with the sad stuff, let's dive into all the cool new stuff that's coming in Chub Chomp Chill version 1. Yippee! Chub Chomp Chill version 1.0 introduces its most in-depth and expansive character creator to date. The new character model now makes it even easier to make a wider array of characters at a variety of sizes. New creator additions include more hair combinations with the separation of hair and bangs, facial hair, the ability to adjust height and limb proportions, clothing decals, a very expansive face editor, including the ability to choose different eye shapes, lashes, irises, eyebrows, mouths, noses, and facial marks. The player can also scale, translate, and rotate these as they see fit. Even head proportions are able to be edited. Now, I'm sure you're expecting a little bit more than the ability to do things like belly button editing. So let's get into the meat and potatoes. In version 0.5, while well, you could use buffs to accentuate different areas of the body, there was still only one main body type. Oh, ugly. But not anymore. Introducing body type options. Now your citizens can naturally grow into an apple shape, a pear, an hourglass, a general well-rounded shape, or even a bottom-heavy teardrop shape if you're feeling experimental. But that's not all, body buffs haven't been forgotten. In fact, they've been expanded on as well with sub-body types. You can now choose how a citizen's body reacts to different body part buffs. For example, do you want a citizen with a bubble butt? Or a more shapely butt? Do you want a normal belly? Or a double belly? Mix and match these options until your heart's content. All that sounds exciting, doesn't it? But I'm not done yet! Different people have different tastes. I might really like macaroni and cheese. You might like licorice like a disgusting heathen. We all subscribe to different diets in our lives and now your citizens can too with brand new diets. These choices are here if you want a little bit of a challenge in your gameplay. Or if you just want to give your citizens a bit of personality in their diet. Speaking of personality, Gloomy, Cool, Shy, and Stuck Up have all gotten complete writing overhauls. Not only that, but three new personalities have entered the ring, Lazy, Nerdy, and Flirty. 
all commissioned from the wonderful writer's contract Crawdad, Go T, and VHS3, with additional entries from patrons as well. It's possible that the remaining personalities might get revamped at a later date. But for now, I hope you enjoy the current overhauls and new additions. But what if none of these particular personalities are quite your fancy? Or you have a character with a really particular vibe you're trying to pull off? Well, fret not. You can now make your own personality with custom blurbs. Now your waifu or husbando can be 100% in character. If you're willing to put in all of the writing work that is. Holy crap! That's right. No more archaic text to speech. Well, aside from this video, of course. You can now pick from a handful of feminine and masculine voices for your citizens. Hello. Hey there. Hi. Hey, how's it going? Hey, haven't seen you in a while. How's it going? Commissioned from the very skilled Max Star and Pear Shape Enthusiast. You can even still change the pitch of any voice to hone it to your liking. There isn't voice acting for every single blurb in the game. I'm not a AAA game studio. However, voices are contextual and will play based on particular actions that are going on or particular blurbs being said. They are very charming and really well performed. Now we're almost done covering the character creator, but there's one more thing we need to cover before moving on. I'm sure by now you've noticed that ominous looking export button in the corner of the screen. I'm sure you're wondering what that's for. Well, now you can export your newly made citizen to a file so you can share it with other people, who can then import that character into their game. You can also export your custom personality blurbs as well, so you can share your ultimate character build with everyone. Hey, that's pretty good. All right, that's enough with the character creator. Let's move on to some gameplay. Oh God, yes, yes! Ah! Apartment spaces have been increased from 30 slots to 50. More is always better, right? When starting to play version 1.0, you'll quickly notice that shops have been revamped. Inspired by the shop swapping in Splatoon, this is meant to provide a better, more seamless experience now that the player doesn't have to wait for considerable loading times each time they want to check a shop. But of course, before we buy anything we need money. Happiness points are still here, of course. The happier your citizen is, the more happiness points you gain. However, the formula behind happiness is a bit more intricate than before. A citizen's happiness is determined by their fullness, affection, wellness, as well as a couple other smaller factors. The face at the bottom center of the screen lets you know at a glance how happy a citizen is. If you want a more exact number, you can check the citizen's info tab. Depending on your citizen's diet, some configurations for happiness might be a bit different. Anyways, now it's time to eat. But some of these foods seem a little unsatisfactory. If only there was a way we could take these ingredients and make them better. Behold! Yeah! Wait a minute. Behold! Introducing crafting. Air, I mean, cooking. Cook more potent foods to make your citizen's indulgence even more effective. It's more economical as well. As your citizen is chowing down, you might come across some new events. Version 1.0 now has over 30 unique events. Most of them written by the exceptional writers Kuda96, Faux Pastry, and React the Dark Ray. Events can give you bonuses, nerfs, and anything in between. Some events even have personality-specific outcomes that only have a chance to trigger with the corresponding personality. As you continue growing your citizens, you might notice that things like leveling up scale a bit more naturally than before. And speaking of leveling up, no longer are you bombarded with that intrusive window every time your citizen levels up. Now, at every level up, your citizen gains a level up lollipop. You can spend these whenever you want in the level up shop and at your own pace. Choco coins haven't been forgotten, you also get those during every level up. You can spend them at Camp Counselor Candies whenever you want. Badges in version 1.0 have been revamped a bit as well. A lot of the less popular choices have been gutted and some new selections have taken their place. Feel free to experiment with them when you get the chance. Not every change to the game needs to be big and bombastic. There's a good handful of smaller changes too that help make your gameplay experience better. For example, bellies can now bloat indefinitely. 
You can feed your citizens beyond their capacity, but be careful, being overstuffed comes with a higher likelihood of illness. Along with belly rubs, you can now poke bellies as well. There's a lot of new audio in the game. Lots of new sloshes, stomach sounds, and burps. It's also way easier to tell when a citizen is bloated or ill. And a bunch of other little quality of life tidbits as well. Now things are starting to come to a close for this presentation, but there's one more gameplay element we definitely need to touch before we go. Size. How big can you go? Well, with the power of doubles, I'm happy to say that the max size is now much bigger. City sized? Country sized? Try space sized. That's right, space is back now, baby. Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> but that's not all. I didn't forget about our anxious fish out of water room seller, Rue. Their inventory options have grown. Not only can you choose your apartment room, you can also choose your warehouse, city, and beyond. Don't want to be in a warehouse? Try a backyard. Don't want to be in a city? Try a farm. Each room phase of growth is customizable, even up to space. With Chub Chomp Chill version 1, the sky's the limit. And then beyond. I really hope you enjoyed this showcase of the next version of Chub Chomp Chill. A lot of hard work has been put into this update, and I really hope it's to your liking. That being said, remember when I said this at the beginning? And we'll make their returns in future updates that hopefully won't take very long to come out. Maybe. It's time to talk about that. I do want to bring missing elements from 0.5 back into the game. But after that, I'm not entirely sure how much longer I can work on this game. There are fun concepts and ideas that I want to implement. But I also don't want to be tied down to this game for too much longer. I have other game ideas I'd really like to pursue. That being said, any future updates Chub Chump Chill from this point on will be released in smaller snapshot formats. You know how Mojang updates Minecraft by dropping a feature or two at a time. I think that's the direction I want to take with Chub Chump Chill. No more huge, year-long waits for a ton of stuff. More like smaller gaps of time for more incremental changes. However long those changes will be, I don't want to shill for too long. But if you enjoy the game and what you've seen here, I'd really appreciate it if you could check out my Patreon if you're able to. Making this stuff takes a lot of work, and with this being a free game and all, it'd be nice to make something back from it. But hey, I've taken enough of your time. We gotta address the last thing I'm sure you all have been eager to find out. Release date? Well, Chub Chum Chill will be available Sunday, March 31st to the public. Or, if you're a $10 patron, you can play it right now, a week early. And with that, the end of the Scribble Showcase has arrived. Thanks so much for watching, and I hope you have a wonderful day.